Well, allergy season is here, so what should you be doing right now to allergy proof your home? For many, spring weather brings sneezing and wheezing, but there are some things you can do and some products that can help. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester has that for us tonight. Hank? This tree and so many others finally coming back to life after that long cold winter in Metro Detroit. Some really looking forward to spring, others not so much because of the allergy issues. Now, help me Hank showing you how to allergy proof your home. Spring blooms bringing out the sneezing, the suffering, the congestion for many. My husband has hay fever, so our home is full of lots of sneezing and tissues every single morning. Hope Rollins' children and her husband all battle seasonal allergies. Make sure your kids and adults as well take their shoes off as they're entering the door or just have a mud room available where they can drop their coats. You should wash your bedding regularly and avoid all down and feather pillows and comforters. There are a lot of bedding products out there that are dust, mite, and allergy free. Also, keep an eye on what you track in from the outside. Hardwood is your best flooring option, but if you have carpeting, make sure you vacuum weekly. Carpeting is wonderful habitat for dust mites, and if you remove it, they don't grow very well on hard surfaces. They don't thrive. Change your furnace filters. The Filtreat air filter for $29 tests very well and works to remove dust and allergens. The Honeywell HPA 300 air cleaner sells for $250 and works to collect dust. And both of these vacuums also tested very well to reduce allergy related issues. The Hoover Wind Tunnel Max for $180 and the Kenmore Elite, which sells for $350. And when it comes to that furnace filter, don't think that that only needs to be changed during the winter months. It should happen all year long to help improve the air quality in your home. I'm Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank.